Dead people don't recover. My name is Riley, and today I'm here to talk to you about a very controversial topic. So I hope you're in the mood to be challenged. Today, I wanna to talk about something called harm reduction. What is harm reduction? Harm reduction is an umbrella term that covers a range of practices and principles offered to people struggling with active addiction. Those programs include, but are not limited to, syringe service programs, medication assisted treatment, and education about safer use practices. These are community programs that provide sterile syringes to active IV drug users and serve as an access point for referrals to treatment services. Oftentimes, when the topic of harm reduction is introduced, it isn't well received. Well-meaning community members often hear about needle exchanges or methadone clinics and have a negative reaction. They say, this is enabling drug use. This is just substituting one drug for another. I don't want someone in my community running a needle exchange or dispensing methadone or suboxone. This is understandable. In a perfect world, our communities are safer and more stable when fewer people are using drugs. But we need to acknowledge a difficult truth. Simply ignoring or condemning drug use does nothing to offset or fix the very real damage that drugs have on our communities. So we need to have tough conversations about realistic ways to reduce the negative effects of drugs on people in our community and to help drug users find their pathway into recovery. As someone myself who has fallen into substance use disorders and found my way into recovery, here are some insights I would like to share with you. Harm reduction programs do not encourage or enable drug use. What these programs do is keep people alive and provide a beacon of hope and support for people who are struggling with addiction. I can tell you firsthand that one of the greatest challenges a person faces when seeking to recover is a sense of isolation. A fear of punishment or judgment keeps people addicted and alone. These people exist in the dark. They struggle alone, and as they struggle, they use drugs more and more often and in increasingly dangerous ways. Remember, dead people don't recover. This is where harm reduction comes into play. Syringe service providers don't encourage drug use among non-users. What they do is provide clean needles to people who are going to use anyway. Just as importantly, these programs take used needles off the street and also serve as a gateway and connection point to health services and recovery resources when the person decides they are ready to seek help. These locations serve as a first point of contact for getting people off the streets and into recovery. Medication-assisted treatments like methadone or suboxone are not just substituting one drug for another. These are life-saving medications that address the physical dependency of drugs so that the person has the time and space to seek help, rebuild their world, and discover a life worth surviving for. The point of these programs is not to enable or encourage drug use. The point of these programs is to put time on the clock, to help keep people alive so that there is more time for them to find their way to recovery. Because remember what we said here? Dead people never recover. And so, even though these topics are challenging, we are not here to encourage or enable drug use. We are seeking practical solutions to improve our world, protect our communities, and recover our friends and keep our loved ones alive. If you have any more questions about harm reduction, please reach out.